Hi, this is Nida from Count On Us. I am super excited that you are here and that you are spending some time with me today to improve your accounting skills. In this lesson, we are going to be doing briefly about the rectification of errors in accounting. Accounts are prepared by accountant. A human being is likely to commit mistakes at the time of recording and posting in the books of accounts. However, such errors are located after some time and should be corrected by passing corrective journal entry, which is known as rectification of errors. The important thing is the errors, whether affecting the trial balance or not, must be detected and rectified. Before going to the rectification, you should know that what kinds of errors are in accounting. On the basis of nature, errors are classified into four. Errors of omission, errors of commission, errors of principle, and compensating errors. Look at errors of omission. When a transaction is omitted or missed to be entered in the journal or omitted to be posted to the ledger, it is an error of omission. It may be two types complete omission and partial omission. For example, credit sale is omitted to enter in the sales account. It is complete omission. The errors which are committed in two accounts and not affect the trial balance. It is two-sided error, so complete rectification entry is required. Next example, cash paid to RAM. It is entered in cash account but omitted to post to RAM's account. It is partial omission and will show disagreement when preparing trial balance. It is one-sided error and will affect only one account. So, do not require rectification entry. You are required to correct the wrong figures physically or by passing the opposite entry of the same account. Next, errors of commission. Errors made in the process of casting, totaling, balancing, etc. For example, posting amount 500 as 50, posting the same amount twice in the account, wrong casting, balancing, carry forward, etc. This all will affect a trial balance as all are one-sided error and no rectification entry required. Next one is errors of principle. Transaction is recorded in contravention of accounting principle. It is an error of principle. For example, purchase of office furniture, but by mistake debited to purchase account instead of furniture account. There is no effect on trial balance since the amounts are entered in the correct side of the wrong account. It is two-sided error and required rectification entry. Finally, compensating errors. One error is cancelled or counterbalanced by another error. For example, purchase account is undercast by 200 dirhams and the sales account also undercast by the same amount 200. So, it won't affect the trial balance. It is also two-sided error and need to pass a rectification entry. Now, it's the time to practice some examples. Look at these errors. We are going to rectify them. First one is, the sales account was overcast by 5000 dirhams. This means, in sales account, we recorded 5000 dirhams more. The error is only in the sales account. It is one-sided error, so you should correct it in the sales account by reducing 5000 dirhams. To do so, sales account should be debited with 5000 dirhams for cancelling the excess amount. Second one is 3200 dirhams received from John was entered by mistake on the debit side of his account. We may assume that cash account has been written correctly. So, the error is only in John's account. 
he should have been credited and not debited here you have to note that not only the wrong debit to be cancelled but also you have to enter the credit amount this is done by entering the amount 6400 dirhams on the credit side of a john's account third error in the transaction is 1071 dirhams received from rohan has been posted as 1017 dirhams to the credit of his account in this transaction rohan has been credited short by 54 dirhams because instead of 1071 dirhams entered 1017 dirhams the difference is 54 dirhams short so you should be credited with 54 dirhams for adding the shortage amount in rohan's account fourth one is 500 dirhams spent for repairs of a machinery was debited to the machinery account here instead of debiting to repairs account the amount debited to machinery account so you should correct both accounts as it is two sided error you have to pass a rectification entry that would be credit the machinery account to cancel the wrong debited amount and debit the repairs account to add the spent amount i am giving you an unsolved example to practice and tell me in the comment box how you all have been done this example it will motivates me to make more videos thank you all have a wonderful day